when you got to call an extra guy down there to stop it, and that's when everything opens up. Like right here, stuff's open and he throws it. Here they come, first and ten to the end zone. It's caught. Davis with the touchdown. Buffalo drives down the field in a hurry. 75 yards and only seven plays. This is a great throw. You see right there, they trip each other. Davis with a huge catch right there. Wow. No first downs, just that one drive that was a quick one, and they go deep, they've got a man! It is Davis for his second touchdown of the night! Wow! You talked about quarterbacks, and these two are playing at such a high level. I've been waiting, Tony, for them to exploit the absence of Matthew, and they did right here, I guess, huh? Yes, and he could have thrown it right there in the middle, but he kind of, and you called it, Jim, exploiting that deep safety, you'll see... Vision. He has two guys, but that throw was so good. You got to chip on the edge with Ingram and have him come up on the inside. Some of these guys. Allen fires it. It's a wide open. Remarkable touchdown. Buffalo Davis again. This is. Uh, it just is impossible. A strike. But watch the route up top. 13. Right there, Davis. Oh my goodness, and then he does the same thing that he did to the corner right up at the top Right there slip From the 19 and 17 seconds Down the middle to the end zone and there it is Touchdown number four of the night for Davis I want you to watch the communication up here. They're going to talk. He's going to talk. He's going to talk. All of a sudden, Baker comes in. This is where the communication, and all of a sudden, they're late getting all the way inside. And that's why you get that leverage right there down the middle. Welcome in, fam, to a late, late edition I love the sunglasses. Of well, that's debatable. Here on the Score On Air Network, I'm Ryan Dietrich here with my boys Jeremiah Bays and Will Ward. And Will Ward's got some company today too. Who you got with you, Will? Go ahead and introduce yourself, young lady. Riley Ward. Right on, right on. <laughs> my little uh little Ben Gal. There you go. Intended. But uh while she's here, just wanna get on let her get on. <laughs> and uh, you know, go ahead and give your shout out real quick, Big Rye. This dude's hilarious. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Burrow and Joe Mixon. Who they? Right on. All right. That's right what's on. up. That's yeah, what's I love up. it. Just a little bit of encouragement. We in the AFC Championship. 13 and 4. Still say no more. But, hey, we on to a whole different level. So, we got, we got, we got our L.A. Shades ready. One more stop. Got one more thing to handle right there in KC. <laughs> it's right. possible. But hey, it's anything possible. is possible. Do you believe, man? These things are possible. Shout out to the homie KG. But hey, we've been talking about it all season. Dude. It's manifested right in front of our eyes. My man Ryan Diedrich over there. You see uh, my man Bays. He done took his side. Dude. It's a big weekend, man. 49er gang. Oh, yeah, nah. Dude, that's right. Bang, bang, Niner gang. I ain't bang, bang, Niner gang. I just been rolling with my predictions. Just, you know, old school. Another old school jersey for the playoffs. That's right. I love that. Get some Montana in there for me. Thank you. I much appreciate that. Funny story about this jersey, though. I see I got this purple mark, right? Yep. Spanish to tutoring. My teacher. <laughs> Accidentally with her, you know, in the expo. Oh yeah, and it was a purple one. Uh, so, I just yeah. got just caught just, you on the swipe. Yeah, and I was like, "No, you did. lost it, right? <laughs> you better give me an A. Yep. <laughs> I got an A too. Need some grades for that. You was there, and I just like this is probably the first day I wore it at school. Yeah. All right, real quick before <laughs> we're <clears throat> we are on. Uh, short speed, you know, this is basically the lightning round tonight. We got about half hour, 40 minutes. We're just going to cover the four NFL divisional games, but real quick, uh, from my former university, Kansas State University, there was kind of some big news in women's college basketball last night. A Yoka Lee, uh, <clears throat> the forward wow. for K State, put up 61 points, which is a Division One women's 
single game record. The previous record was 60 with two That'd players. Be a men's record, too. So she broke the record for 61 <laughs> points, 20 feet, 23 for 30 shooting, 12 boards. Girl let it up. So shout out there. That's kind of cool to see my former Wildcats getting some love on a national level. 23 for 30. 23 for 30. How many, out. I wonder what was her. What she go from three? Because I know to get, she must be getting fouled a lot, too. That's yeah. Probably she like, probably didn't even attempt a three point. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Uh, Just man. got fouled in a bunch of layups. So, oh, yeah. shout out but, to her. How you say her name? Yoka Lee. A Yoka Lee. A Yoka Lee. Yep. Yoka Lee. A cool Yoka little Lee. story Same there. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna let Will get right into the Bengals. Uh, I've got some highlights if you would like to see. First, let's see. You got any of those you want? Uh, no, specifically, you could throw the one up of uh, just a stat about Joe. Start that one off. Got it. All right, Big Burrow. See, Joe is the first QB drafted in number one overall to yep. win the divisional round playoff within his first two seasons. Technically Last his season? first season. Hey, exactly. that's cool. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> hey, so, is this a young squad? That's the beauty of the Bengals right now. They're so young, so talented, and it's the – the future is so promising. It's so bright. We don't even want to take these shades off yet. <laughs> just get get so, a, just get a line because nine line. sacks. Nine sacks is not acceptable. Like I said, I'm ten, gonna go into it real quick. Oh, yep. My yeah. Keys to victory. Before we go, everything else, give the ball to Joe Mixon. As Young Riley already stated. All right. Do what we've been doing to get to this point. There is no type of mistakes that can be had. You must execute on all three phases of the ball each and every time that we are on the field. So in order to cut the head off of the snake, that's what you must do in order to get this victory. So we know who they have. Granted, yes, we did get a win a couple weeks ago. But this time, you're going to get the receiver oh, real KC. Week? What we seen a couple weeks was just like the Dallas Cowboys. It was fool's gold. So this time, oh. we must take over and do it early. No mistakes. We see how fast that Kansas City can score. Dude, yep. Shout out to Richard Vance and my man, Chef Massey. Ten seconds. I see you. I'm going to see you. We're going to see you they in only KC. Needed 10 make seconds. sure we're coming for sure. I can't wait till we talk about that. But so we we are we are we talking about uh, Bengals Titans or are we jumping Bengals Chiefs? Yeah, we're just doing? going. Yeah, Bengals Titans. <laughs> Obviously, you're he's, good there. We're going to jump straight ahead. Right. Yeah, but they're destined, we are into the next round. But and, hey, and I'm in the last game. But I'm guessing you led with like your key to victory is yes. Joe Mixon because of some of his stats from the Bengals Titans Correct, game. Sir. So give us a little breakdown he went of the 14 Titans. Fourteen for fifty four, yep. one touchdown. It's not much. But he did enough. But shoot, huge shout out to Evan McPherson. You know, out of Florida, third yep. round pick. He went four for four. Shout out to our plug, Wendy's again. You want to get Wendy's? Make sure you mention that's debatable at the window. You will get a four for four for exactly four dollars. <laughs> so, so. I love they got the freshest fries, right? Dude, now. I love. Apparently, yeah. that's yeah. A- hey, never frozen. Food's never frozen. Hey, Always shout fresh. Out to Wendy's. R.I.P. Dave Thomas. You already know. But uh, another thing that they did, they intercepted Ryan Tannehill, first player of the game. Yep. They made sure they came literally out and executed. First player uh-huh. of the game. That's, that has to be done again. Continue to put pressure on him. Didn't he let, made a uh, play. Uh, Definitely King made a play on that ball. Much. Yep. 20 for 62 yards, one touchdown. Jamar Chase did get the, didn't get hit the gritty, but he did get 109 yards, five receptions, six targets. That has to go up a little bit more in order for you to – you have to have all weapons on deck, whether it's Tyler Boyd, whether it's uh, Higgins, who had seven for 96, nine targets this time. Here, actually, speaking of, let me roll. Got a couple of those highlights of him, them actually catching the ball. Higgins yeah. over the middle. Hold on to the ball, T. We got. We have right. no interceptions, no fumbles. And once again, he's going to throw. Over the middle. Higgins coming across. Higgins Ball's works out. Maybe it's forced by the ground. But you see the quick movement right there by Mr. Jamar Chase. First hey, ball went literally game. white to him, yeah. though. All right. Let's see what else we got. Throw the chase he here. This is the uh, game that we set up right here right before you have to keep the field goal. Once again, shout out to Evan McPherson. Got here's, ice cold veins. Here's my hit. Here's the other Higgins. Man. Third and six. That's the middle of the league. Burrow. Perfect pass to Higgins. So it's going to have to be a lot of that. Just pitch and catch. How, uh, who was it? Al Pacino on any given Sunday? We're just in the backyard. Run to the Cadillac. Just imagine that you're just having fun. That's all we got to do. Have fun. That's it. We got there off of just fun and emotion, having the gritty, doing all that. But it have to, we have to tap into another dimension right now. How the old Power Rangers just say, it's morphin' time. So morphin' <laughs> to that beast. 
<laughs> have to come into uh, you know, Bingo Zord or whatever we got to do to type into whatever the Vontez Burfitt type of hits, but the legal ones, no penalties. We've been Dude, the yep. least penalized team in the NFL this season. It has to continue. But the biggest thing I would say, the most, the biggest key to victory is not allowing for Joe Burrow to get any type of hits by uh, who's my guy that's coming off of that end so heavily right now, uh, Melvin Ingram. Dude, yep. coming off of that end so fast right now. Don't don't know if the Honey Badger is going to be there. That's going to be a key one to keep a lookout for over the week. But they just have to be laser focused. Tap into those laser eyes and just hey, continue to do it what got us there. Once, yep. One one play at a time, though, because we see that any moment, we're going to talk about it a little bit later, yep. how quickly those Kansas City Chiefs can score. Yep. But, hey, that's my banger report. We'll be there at 3 o'clock, Kansas City. Showtime, man. Dude, that's right. right. That's the Bengals side of it. So since he already bigged up the Bengals, I'm going to talk about what the Titans didn't do. There you go. Now, why I already said that, what I say last week? Tannehill. Tannehill. First play of the game, what he do? Pick. And he threw yep. three of them. He threw one in the Two in crucial moments. Yep. I already knew that was going to happen. And they, uh, King Henry ain't played since week eight, right? Yep. So that's about 11 games worth of creating the type of offense that doesn't really form around him. And now they try to incorporate him back in. Now, A.J. Brown turned up. He was there. You know, everything, the defense did good. Held, held Cincinnati to their field goals. The only thing, Tannehill kept giving them the ball. Henry couldn't really take off. They The, uh, the defense did good. The Bengals' defense uh, did good on him, for real, for real. But as a team, they did, run, they did rush well. But it's all on Tannehill. I told you it was gonna come down to Tannehill. Yeah, the de- yeah. he was right. The defense stepped up. They kind of they won it. They got nine sacks, so they they technically won the trenches. Yep. So I mean, it really it really just came down to Ryan Tannehill. He ain't make those key plays, or he just made bonehead plays. Yep. A couple of them, the Bengals, like the first play of the game. I can't necessarily really blame that on Tannehill. That's more so on the on that player really making a play. He he tipped it and then caught the tip. Like that's like you can't catch a break, okay? But he didn't bounce back from that. Them last two was crucial. I think the tip balls are definitely crucial. Uh, once it was Samaj P. Ryan, it was kind of towards the end of the game, the final couple drives, which got the Titans back and tied it up at 16. But the tip ball is definitely going to be a fact coming up in this next game. You can't because they have any mistakes, but that one almost cost Cincinnati. So definitely have to watch out for that stuff like that. But Logan Wilson ended up getting it right back. Yep. And, yeah, you boys were right. You both picked Cincinnati. I went the other way. I said the Titans would roll the Bengals. I think I called them winning by seven. Um, I was kind of right with the Titans winning the trenches a little bit. Very surprised. You rarely see that. Give up nine sacks and still get the dub. Big time there You're is right the, about everything is except the, the quarterback. Is the Bengals holding the Titans to 16 points? You know, that's a big thing. If you can do that. You know, you can win. Obviously, Chiefs putting up 42 points are at a premium. And that will lead us directly into my guys, the 49ers, getting the big win uh, thanks to the Robbie knew. Gould leg. <laughs> huh? yeah, I already knew. You, I, That's right, man. You were knew. hot. It wasn't nothing to do with no Packer hate either. Like, objectively looking at yep. Aaron Rodgers' resume in the playoffs, especially his resume versus the Niners, it, just, it is what it is. It's, it was all there. Yep. And, and it, they maybe caught it. You know they want to blame special teams. I can't blame special teams on your so your your reigning MVP and might be the MVP this season. Yep. Uh, only putting up ten points. He didn't get it done. Now, do you got my graph? The the uh, did you get that the um, targets? A target picture up. I do. Yeah, Let me so dig that up. Now he has he had weapons. The running game. The the running backs did their thing, um, but he didn't spread the ball around. I was, I, don't know. I was very surprised to see that, and here's exactly what we're talking about. Is 27 passes, 21 of them with the two players. He, uh, Five other players got. Yeah, all one, yeah. one, two, and one. And that's, you know, that makes it easy on the defense for San Francisco and to Lazar, kind of game plan. I got him circled because on that last pass when he forced it to Adams, Lazar was wide open, and it, that could have changed everything. But, you know, Mr. A-Rod, he only thought to who he trusts. He don't, thought, he don't trust himself. And now, I stole that Jones. quote, I want to say, from – who said that today? Coward or something? Nah, I didn't listen to Coward today. I want to say it might have been Shannon. It might have been Mr. Sharp. Skipping Shannon this morning? Yeah, or somebody on first things first. But either way. I I, I kind of I, I like that because that's that's pretty, that's pretty much what it's always been. You know, when they got rid of Jordy, you know he, he it was and he don't like throwing it to other players. Yep. Yeah, yeah, man. 
man. He's been doing that. So yeah, for, he is. forced it to Randall Cobb on a crucial third down. I think and second, it, and third, that was probably his only quarter. target. I think Randall Cobb only been targeted once. Yeah, he was only it. targeted once. Yeah, that whole game. Again. And that's who he wanted back, right? <laughs> like yeah, that, Randall that, Cobb yeah. won. Yep, that's exactly right. Yeah, so the one throw he threw to him, he forced it to him. Yep, so one. Yeah, and I mean, you know, look, but look at that. He too. iced out uh, Mercedes Lewis, and then you know, who, tight end, tight end, Randall Cobb. I don't know, I have no idea who Dominique Daphne is. That's another thing is you know he's got nobody to throw to. No, it's I one side of it. Lazard. He just chose. I don't know what happened with the Lazard connection, but Lazard be balling. Yeah, yeah, he was. Especially unexpectedly. Yep. And like I said, on that last play of the game, Lazard is literally running wide open. All right, here's probably, I love this, my guy Robbie Gould, and actually one of the, I think it was Matty Ice of Rothman and Ice here on 97 won the fan. I heard their predictions on Thursday, and I believe, I think it was Matty Ice, but he said Niners are going to win it off the leg of Robbie Gould at the buzzer. And this is Robbie Gould pregame. He don't even care about Packer team intros or nothing. <laughs> Robbie Gould's worried about practicing. Talking know. about practice. God dang it. I know what you're talking right about. Right over them coming out of the tunnel. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey. All right, here we go. So, yeah, Robbie Gould just booting them right over the top of the Packers players. He's getting ready. Is that a little bit of foreshadowing? Yeah. <laughs> and he, yeah, I mean, he steps up right close. They're getting ready. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Disrespect, man. Then it might be the end of the Packers. Putting it on. Dude finally could get up out of my conference. Hopefully we make the right moves. Uh, yep. Uh, but we ain't even talking about the Vikings right now. But I'm just saying, yeah, because with Aaron Rodgers, is he going to leave? He already talking about, I don't want to be a part of a rebuild. Like, y'all been 13-3 and three for back-to-back uh, -back seasons, number one seed. I don't think it would be a rebuild. Now, they strapped with Cap, and they're not going to be able to bring back pretty much anybody. So Mainly the if I'm the Packers, I'm getting rid of dude anyway. Yeah. So, you <laughs> know, Cap's get up out of here. Aaron and a tough yeah. spot's going to be. If sign Devontae, he's gonna, that's going to cause bands. Yep. And yeah. if Jimmy G beats the Niners, Vegas. or if he beats the Rams on Sunday and takes the San Francisco Niners to the Super Bowl, we got a tough decision on our own. How do you get rid of a dude that gets your team to the Super Bowl? And that's, Twice. And that's the other uh, conversation 49ers fans have yeah. been having is, is San Francisco winning in spite of Jimmy G? No. The last two games, San Francisco's got wins. The divisional in the wild card round, Jimmy G, zero touchdowns, one interception. Divisional round against the Packers, zero touchdowns, one interception. Almost through another costly one. So a lot of that is, you know, is San Francisco getting it done in spite of Jimmy G? But he made, see, he made some there. great throws down that uh, to get San Francisco in field goal position to True. win. He made a great throw to Kittle over the middle and another one to Ayuk over the middle. But when it was crunch time, I think it was third and eight, third and nine, at the end of the fourth quarter, the Niners got to get it to get in field goal range. They have to get nine yards, and what do they do? They give the ball to Debo Samuel. They run it with him right up the middle, and they get it done. Yeah, that's so that's one player, thing though. that makes him dangerous, and he's their best player. You know, but as we watched later on told you with they Matt Stafford, chain. Bucks, and Bills. <laughs> I told you they was going to tuck their chain. Yep. And a lot of, you know, so that's kind of the debate is a lot of success is passing game and points like we saw on Sunday. But San Francisco won the only way they could. That was to go into Lambeau with some cold conditions, slow the game down, somehow hold the Packers to 10 points, and win it with Robbie Gould getting six. And special teams, big shout out, man. They needed the play. They needed two plays. One was a big block field goal going into the end of the second half from Jimmy Ward, who gave up the play, he busted coverage, the play before that. So he saved himself there. And then at the <clears throat> towards the end of the fourth quarter or third quarter, they were down ten to three. Jordan Willis with the big block yep. punt in the end zone. So Saturday night watching that with my mom at the house, man, I you know I'm yelling. That was stressful, stressful, stressful. Take some years off. And it was a very big contrast to the Sunday night game of Bills and Chiefs, which was just points, 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 no defense, you know, very different football games, but both very exciting in their own right. So loved it. One for the ages. High efficiency offense. Yep. Got a bunch of Packers fans as friends. A lot of trash talking Saturday yeah, night. Again, it was stressful, yeah. but we got it done. And I love the Montana jersey. So San Francisco's got a big win coming up against the L.A. Rams. This will be the third time this year. They beat them seven times straight. It's in SoFi. The L.A. Rams have limited ticket sales to 49er zip codes outside of L.A. and San Francisco, some things like that. So it's going to be hot. It's going to be loud in L.A. I'm excited. Sunday night, 6 o'clock. So man. quick blast, 49ers and Packers, man. 
our program director, shout out Adam Dell, who helps run the Score On Air Network. He's a little salty. My man Byron, if you're in the chat, what's up, brother? I did get to talk to Mr. Dell before class or before the show. Excuse me. Uh, he did say he's doing better. Uh, the day off yesterday, <laughs> he got his mental is back right. He said he stayed focused on. He's getting married here soon in April. He said he just did some wedding stuff. So hang in there, Dale. Yep. It's gonna be all right, man. I did pass out many flyers. Um, <laughs> check my Instagram, uh, Will Ward twenty eight two eighty eight. <laughs> or uh, Facebook, I did put those flyers in there for anybody that may be a cowboy from last week, a stiller from last week, um, a packer from this week. Um, right now, the Bill Mafia, there is just a limited amount of Bengal bandwagon uh, seats still left, but you got to move quick. <laughs> So that flyer yeah, had is an empty on the stadium. That's why. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. some seats still left in the, on the bandwagon, but hey, who that? Right. Hey, man. Yeah, there, you know, there's four spots left to get on the bandwagon, man. Rams, uh, Niners, Bengals, or you can, you know, homer up with the Chiefs who look like the heavy favorite. Man, um, it's going. It's hard. I want to say the Bengals will beat be them, but I, gotta I hope that, so, that's man. Going with my heart, I would, man. Do it for CJ. Do yeah. it for my guy. Right. But. All right. That boy Patrick Mahomes is a whole nother beast, and this is a postseason now. I know they got it. They caught him. I caught him slipping, but they they did their thing in week, what, 17, 16, 17? January 2nd, 17. so just two weeks ago, week 17, yeah. Bengals got the dub know, against Kansas City, got the North, right? but it was right. in Cincinnati, Yeah, 34-31, <laughs> so still a tight game. Um, but let's go. Saturday night, Niners, Packers wrap up, leads us into Sunday afternoon. L.A. Rams at Tampa Bay. What a great game. What a great game. Jerry, you want to take this away? Highlight, recap. I didn't get a chance oh, to man. see it. I was out doing it some big kind of things, so take us away. The, the the front of Von Miller, Leonard Floyd, and, of course, that man who just strangles people on the field, Aaron Donald. They Monster. was getting that Brady heavy throughout the whole first three and a half, pretty much the whole game, though, right. until, you know, they made their little stretch run. But the offense, Matthew Stafford bought, but, you know, Akers fumbled a couple of times. That was the first one was like Winfield made a great play. It, it just <laughs> Nice right punch out. His, <clears throat> yeah, right before his head hit the ground, ball comes out. but And he fumbled again. And the, uh, the, the player of the game also had a key fumble himself, Cooper Cup. But, you know, Bucks bounced back. <clears throat> Excuse me, Brady and them do they? They try to they try to make it interesting, real, 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 real clutch game. I don't know how you give up. People missed their assignments. People were supposed to blitz, didn't blitz. Winfield got smoked on the back end, <clears throat> got him in field goal range, and then next thing you know. And I was gonna say I got that day with the dub. I got the final one minute drive, which was crazy. Let's see, I left. I left the restaurant. Stopped at the it gas was, station, looked at my phone. Buck scored like 27 27. I looked three seconds later and it was final field goal. So it was crazy. Yeah, shameless <laughs> plug. I was watching Power. So, like, anybody who watched the book of Ghosts right now, this last episode was crazy, right? <laughs> hey, so, man, no so spoiler, spoiler. I'm not going to say anything, but I'm just talking about it was so good. Well, you need to catch up because it was that good. But just to say, I was watching that during the Rams game. So, b- b- balancing <laughs> both, like, if y'all got, seen the, the, uh, focus, the scene man. at the table. The scene at the table where everything went crazy between that, that's when everything was going crazy in the Rams. I'm like, bro, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I, obviously, I could pause right. the TV. Right. I'm wondering but, if you knew that. It was good. No, but I wasn't watching <laughs> it right. solo, so I couldn't just shut it down because I'm watching the playoffs. But yep. they were so good. It was hard to watch. But I got awesome. the phone in my hand and, of course, the TV. So I'm just trying to balance it. All right. One minute, final drive. <laughs> right. The L.A. Rams. Here we go. Brady looks over the middle. That's oh, wait a minute. I get in here. Oh, this will be Gronk scores. Under a minute. Put the ball down. And I don't know if I got Remember this. Remember, the ref has to touch it. You know that after See, last week. Brady could have just rolled Brady over there in 27. Uh, First at. It's okay, this one. Just a little long. short in the line. Let me see that next one. Lenny Fournette scores short. coming up right here. I think they're going to take the look. Time out. The Rams take. They may take another look at that on top of it. Time out. Scratch that. Wrong clip. My bad. But anyway, one minute dry. I think there was 42 seconds left. L.A. Rams got the ball. And Matt Stafford just does it. Finds Cooper Cup, best receiver in the league this year. And also that on the second play, Matt Stafford aired out just a dime. I don't know, 45 yards in the right air. before he got hit. Yeah. Right before he just got smoked. Stands in there, takes a shot right over the 
corner uh blown assignments and I don't and Cooper Cup just had one step on him man I mean shoulder pads in front of him yeah and just fuck it which one is more impressive him driving back down the field with that much time or to come back from Tom Brady to lead his team back they were down a lot and just to march back they scored 24 on answer points so to come back in that fashion and get the game close and just to get beat on pretty much one play by Cooper Cup you gotta still tip your hat off to Brady and his offense that was lack. That's no, what he I was had telling. You his in offense chat. was Who in this chat? his offense was already injury injury prone. He already had lost uh, his what left tackle. He lost <laughs> Gronk's injured. It was a lot that he had to come back, come back from. So still gotta tip your hat to him, but just not enough to uh, beat the Rams this time. Yeah, no, no, he had a very, very low QBR, but that's throughout the game because of the defense, for the most part, the Rams was on it. They showed up. Their defense showed up. But then, you know, we had some some minor meltdowns by the offense, and, you know, you know the best cornerback in the game gave up a huge play to uh, Evans, uh, to Mike Evans. So that's really what happened. And then, you know, once Brady get close, you know, from all the stories, you know, Brady make everybody believe. So they just got to keep believing. It was right there. Thinking it was about to go into OT, and maybe we could see another epic finish, which it was still an epic finish for an epic game. But yeah, you definitely got to tip your hat to the GOAT. Whether if you believe he's a GOAT or not, whether if you believe right. this guy is the GOAT or, you know, TB12, either way, you got to tip your hat, man. Yep. He could have rolled over. I'm pretty sure it was another 12 that was, you know, somewhere north that probably would have rolled over at a t- when it was down, t- if he was down 20 to 3, you know. But this 12 that's down in Tampa, nah, he didn't roll. And that team in, that team in L.A., they put they put together a pretty big team, a pretty good team. So, man, every, everybody that everybody who they bought to get there <laughs> made plays. Stafford, OBJ made some plays. That was a great sideline catch with the – he actually caught it with one. Dude, yep. <laughs> he, Dude he, yeah, he still got it. He was pumped. It's good to see some happy, excited energy from him in the locker room after the win. One thing I will throw out, this will be – the NFC West will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl for the sixth time in the last ten years. So, I think this is three or four straight. Best division in football without a doubt. I heard somebody refer to him as the SEC of the NFL. I don't like that, but nah, NFC man, West, man, it ain't, tough, man. Ain't, they grind it out. So. It ain't all that. Um, nah. so Rams survive, going to Tampa Bay and beat them. And that leads us into maybe, arguably, best it's been talked ever? about as one of the best games ever, man. Man, I feel so bad for my guy, Dude, Josh, Josh Allen. Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes, so he just – that just goes without saying. He he already got that respect. Boom. But yeah, I do have. But Josh Allen, drive. he, oh, man, he probably going to get MVP next year because I feel like he's furious. Like, not crying, not balling. He probably said, Diggs, yeah, you ain't really had that big of a game. Made a heck of a two-point conversion, but Diggs, they took Diggs out. Now, we got into that little get, Diggs or Hill. Yep. Yeah, the explosiveness, you're right. Yep. And you could eas- not easily take out Diggs, but you could game plan better for Diggs versus how you could game plan for Tyreek Hill, especially yep. when there's a big number 87 in the middle. Yep. So that kind of helps. And that's, you know, we're having this debate about, you know, like, you know if Hill, you know, Hill, the more explosive, dynamic receiver over Diggs, who's maybe more consistent, better route runner, better hands, some things you know, like that. Overall and like in that <laughs> moment, Tyreek Hill blows open the 70 yarder to tie, like. <laughs> And if you man fastest dude in the NFL, that whole other gear, yeah. he just se- he just separated from those three. Yeah. Um, man, just some of those athletes. The I, I think like, it was Hill that put the spin move. Yeah, on two defenders on Milano, and then sent both of them crashing into each other. Like yeah. it's just crazy. Um, yeah. real quick video footage. I got the Chiefs. Uh, they're 13 seconds left. The pass, pass to Kelsey. See, I hate the, the phrase kick. 13 seconds we'll is that. too much time for Patrick Mahomes. That's just for the storylines and right. the fairy tale. No, they, the Bills did, they didn't, it's not that they left him too much time. The Bills played it all wrong. Yep. You don't play prevent. You got to stop. You man up. And here's what he's talking about. Yep. Look, look, they gave him all the space. You gave them this piece to operate. They have a chance to get to the top of the chair. It's not that it was too much time. It's that they had no time. They wanted the ball plenty. All the space. All the space to make two plays. That's all they need. Now, I don't know if you can hear me over Romo right now. Because, you know, he's going to let him get that open. It's because. Hundreds of thousands around the planet. The kid is going overtime.
And he would just not be quiet. <laughs> yeah, he's because he's seeing players on the field doing stuff that he couldn't do. Huh? Yep. And it's it's just, it's amazing. I, I mean, as a fan, I'm amazed too. And kind of like Romo, go, I get to talk about it. But hey, you can't do that. I'm playing man. You have your two your two pro your two all pro safeties covered deep. Don't get nothing up. But you gotta man. You know why you play man? Because they gotta get off it. They gotta get off the line. Gotta get off the line of scrimmage. They gotta fight a little bit. That takes time. You only got 13 seconds. No, you literally gonna give the fastest man on the field all the space of the world to operate, and arguably the best tight end ever all the space to operate, along with the best, arguably the best quarterback. Well, it's, it's not an argument, but you well, know, right. the best quarterback in the league today. Yeah. How about that? See, yeah. and I was wondering if the bit. Bills should have put some, pre- you know, bring a guy on a blitz, put somebody on, change it up a little bit. Yeah, that or did. just rush two and drop 10 guys i don't I know if you watch one of those plays they did oh, send man that blitz don't go and they, and they miss they that's what it was they, they sent the blitz home. but they, yep. you can't get there in time but it, if you go man then you're pressed up against tyree he give you one quick move and then you're <laughs> off to that's the races why your safety anyway. is back deep yeah but you are already lost well how much time did it take for him to get past him though but that you know that's the tough All you thing do is, is like hit them off the hit them off their route just a little bit. They only got thirteen seconds versus you giving him. You already gave him ten yards to work with. One, so he 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 catches he catches that ten yards. One plant he's gone. Yeah, yeah. One plant he's gone versus and the momentum got, falls still, forward Hill, like fifteen Tyreek yards. Hill, boom. I don't necessarily know how. See, because you're so afraid of him burning you, he right. doesn't get jammed. But if you jam him, can he really right. get off the jam like that? That's I never the, really, I'm never with you. Seen. There is. You, I would be less it's, afraid it's, of less afraid of like the deep ball, oh yeah, like the taking kick. a shot right. And, <laughs> We didn't even mention that. It's like, <laughs> like in the squib kid. Bill's no. just squib. Like, this is simple Madden, man. RP, RP Madden. Yeah, this right? is simple but Madden. The same way they say, this is why they keep the defensive coordinator up late at night, trying to figure out how you're going to stop Hill, <laughs> how you're going to stop, stop Kelsey, how you're going to stop Hardman, how you may stop that flat out the back with Edwards Hilaire. That's what Cincinnati has to look forward to this week, and it has the preparation has to start now. That's mainly what a, the problem was, is going into to preparation. You know, if you know what you're going to do in these yep. certain situations, you already mentally focused. The same way they kept saying that the Cowboys didn't know what to do with their 13 seconds or 14 seconds. Mm-hmm. It was obviously they didn't that have the, the Chiefs outs. offense knew what to do once they had yeah, the, the timeouts yeah, are big. Yeah. And, it allows and, you to do more stuff in more time. So you're kind of more relaxed, more Leslie avoid. Frazier blew it. My former coach. Great coach. Actually, he pretty did pretty did uh, did a good a solid job at the Vikings too, and he's been doing great in Buffalo with the number one ranked defense. But he blew it right there. You don't play prevent. You don't play prevent. No, especially when they don't need a touchdown to score to win or tie. So and then um, you know we saw something crazy of you know San Francisco scored you know thirteen points and gets the win. These two teams scored thirteen points in less than a minute. I mean, that's what you're afraid of is that ability to just march down the field that quickly. And unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see the Buffalo Bills get the ball in overtime. Do you guys think overtime rules need changed? No. Or is it just it's on the Bills defense? Prevent you got defense. a chance to stop Prevent them. That's the, the way it is. Yeah, no, they got they had it. They thought if you look at as soon as as soon as Josh Allen threw that pass, and as soon as Diggs caught as soon as Diggs caught that other pass. Go when you look at the sideline, the hug that Gabriel and Allen give each other. They thought they had that game yeah. won. Who would have thought it? Everybody yeah, thought that. And thought what, it. what did I do? As soon as he threw that pass, what did I say? Hey, well, I know who my ball is. <laughs> Let me call dibs before y'all do it. I yep. said if they, fin- but I also said if they finish the job because yep. I know how stuff go. Because I'm also a part of the Minneapolis miracle, and I know you got to play to the very end, dude. Anything can happen, literally. And, and the Minneapolis miracle happened in ten seconds. Yep. Just to, you know, just to, you there know, you go. You can't give Case Keenum that much time either. I guess, huh? No. Okay, and, and we saw that in our, you know, our score on air network group chat. There's a couple Packers fans in there, and one of them, middle of the early fourth quarter. Yeah, next week we got to be sharper. You know, the, you know, going to the championship, we, you know, Packers got to stay sharp. Too. It's calling it early. They thought it was done, man. It's like they don't under, see, man. No, nah, and if my, did we talk about that game yet? No. Yeah, I got a question for. Oh yeah, from Rashard. I don't even see. What's up, brother? If Mahomes is Brady, he's. Is Josh Allen Manning or or Rivers? He's definitely not Rivers. Nah, he's not Rivers. He's already sure. got more playoff wins than Rivers ever did. But uh, and which Manning would it be? Eli or would it be Peyton? I guess. Well, no, uh, he'd probably be like John Elway, the taller, mobile. I mean, I think. I mean, I always thought he was big. I thought he was a hybrid Big Ben. 
Like people forget how, what, what Big, Big Ben would look like when he first. I know the end of Big Ben is you know, it ain't 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 the best memories. But the right. beginning of Big Ben when he was mobile, he's and still, yeah. he was six he was a little five, bit more mobile, standing there just yeah. get hammered all day long. Josh Allen has got a rocket, dude. That dude can throw the ball mile. And when he came out of Wyoming at less than 60% completion, some big, dumb Wyoming quarterback, I thought, no way, man. Like, what are the Bills doing? But goodness gracious, that kid can ball. He moves like Lamar, but he throws the ball. I wouldn't go that far, man. man. He, yeah. he got some I mean, speed to right. it. No, and he so, has power so with this him is, behind I've him. heard this. All right. Josh he, Allen he is uses, the best dual threat quarterback in the league. What he, do you say to that? He uses the pump fake like Lamar. He's got a little shimmy shake like Lamar. He's see, not. He doesn't. Nobody moves like Lamar. And I can't wait. No, see, I was not crazy. I don't know. I, I always see the best dual threat quarterback actually didn't play this season. If we really want to talk about it, but and that's Deshaun Watson. Mm. But um, we uh, we get the well, same. Well, I mean, who knows? And we'll I'm see. hearing some rumors, but I'm not going to get excited a, about the rumors in a that I'm hearing somewhere. about Deshaun Watson. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's in a recliner. He's just hanging out doing nothing. Nah, he's, you know I mean? Josh Allen he's definitely earned my respect this oh, time. Yeah. This he week already because had he, it, I had seen him too many times where he was hot one week, he was off the next. Yeah. This he's been more consistent within these last couple of weeks of the final uh, regular of the regular season. And quite frankly, I think he has one of the most like yesterday's uh, loss is not on him. Yesterday's loss is not on him. Nah, for not, sure. Definitely for sure not. not. He did him. what he had to do to win that game. You you can't tell me he didn't. That passed, but he threw a beauty just striker down. Man, shout out Josh Allen. He would have been my baller of the week, but we don't. Me get, still, like, we don't do baller. We don't get the ballers to the losers. <laughs> so sorry, Josh. I mean, you see, but, you could because he didn't. You know. Nah, but they lost. He didn't do it. They and both. the same a regular season. The so. one stat that blew me away was. Uh, Chiefs had 21 passing first downs. I mean, that's just that type of efficiency and success, especially on third down, you know, second down. Like, they just got it done. All right, we got a quick two minutes. Any final thoughts? On wild card weekend? Uh, prediction. Let's, weekend. Here, yeah, let's go into divisional. That wraps it up, man. The takeaway is Josh Allen's a beast. I'm very excited to watch Bills and Chiefs for the next few years. And some, you know, some AFC championships, things like that. He decided uh, let's the bracket. Go. See, that's why that the way that bracket fell. That's why. That's also why you know. What up, Jay? Since he's in the AFC championship game, because that side of the bracket was weak, and they was really the best team on that side of the bracket. That's why I picked them to go to AFC that's championship. A, yeah. game. And you nailed that's it. The playoff started. You nailed it. When I that obviously, game I didn't go. pick that once pre preseason or anything like that. But once the playoffs started, already that side of the bracket. As long as the Bengals showed up, they was gonna make it to the AFC championship game because I never believed in the Titans, and of yep. course, I don't know, nobody believed in the Raiders either. Yep. <laughs> like the I, Raiders yeah. was lucky to get there, and the Titans. We're lucky to even, yeah, that they didn't play the Bills or somebody. Like, All right. Know. AFC Championship prediction. Sunday, 3 o'clock. Bengals at Chiefs. Chiefs are a touchdown favorite. We'll do this without Ooh, spreads man. or anything. Just give me a winner. Got to call. Mahomes for four touchdowns. Mixon for two. Burrow for 400 again. What do you got? Lay it on me. Hit him. Go ahead, Will. Go ahead. You already know. I, I can't turn my back on him. I'm not the betting type, so don't. Try to bet me this week. I cannot <laughs> allow my pockets to dictate anything. So, uh, as much as I believe in them, my financial is set up different. So, uh, yeah, that's smart, man. I do think that we can go into it, but it's going to take every single thing that Cincinnati got. So, I'm on roll. And if it's going, we gonna go down shooting. We're gonna try to sling it with them. I believe that that defense is gonna to have to make a couple stops. Logan Wilson, uh, that defensive line, well, Sam Hubbard. And uh, Mr. Hendrick said, "Y'all got to protect the quarterback." To. Yeah, it's going to be a lot, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with Cincinnati. Thirty-five, probably about thirty-two. It's maybe another field goal or something like that. It's dead. Okay. Well, Jer. Jamar had what two hundred yards last time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This, ooh, Jamar gonna definitely have to. Whoo, y'all gonna have man. I can't. I gotta go with my head. My head is telling me the the Chiefs, but you know I want to go with my heart. Man, RP, my bro. I know he'd definitely be picking them to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, can the Cincinnati, Ohio Bengals hey, make it to the Super Bowl? I don't want to jinx it, so I'm going to just, man, I want to gracefully bow out. <laughs> nice. It's tough, man. I understand. Go with, I'm going with the, man, I want I want the Bengals to go. I want the Bengals to go. This is on record, but I got to pick the Chiefs until they dethrone. 
Score. Respect. Because I did say the winner of the Bills Chiefs was going to the Super yes, Bowl. So I'm going to stick with that pick. Right. And since the Chiefs came out, I got the Chiefs. But I would love to see the Bengals go. All right. I'm taking Chiefs 28-25. I mean, that's – I hope to see the Bengals, man. Sweet and easy. I'm rooting with Will, but hey, man, we're a minute over. We're quick and easy. I d- Dude, the Chiefs look tough. I wouldn't want to play them. I'm rooting for the Bengals for sure. I'd love to see Cincy in there. But I got Chiefs 28-25, and I'll knock it out real quick. Niners over the Rams, 31-29. 31 29. Mm, uh, I don't like that. Give me up 28. Uh, probably about, I think the, the defense of the 49ers are going to give Matthew Stafford a lot more trouble than what uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers delivered him. They let Odell kind of, yeah, he in there having a good time right now. So they got to knock him off of their high horse. 49ers, it's about, uh, I, mean, I don't even think it's going to be a shootout. It's definitely about, not going to be no shootout. Yeah, uh, 21, probably like 13. That's I'm going to take my yeah. If the Niners win, they're going to have to keep L.A. under 20. St. Fran just has trouble scoring points. I'll change mine to 24-20. Will's got Niners 21-13. Jer? Again. I'm worried, though. The irony of I got this jersey on, but I also said the winner of Bucks and Rams going to the Super Bowl. Yep. So, Do it. I have taken integrity. So, by that merit, the Rams did win. So even with this jersey on, that's just because they beat. I had I had the Niners also going to the NFC Championship game. They side of the bracket, they definitely was advantageous on that side All of the right. bracket. But I'm gonna go with the Rams. Here's got the Rams, dude. I'm. A, I would love I'm to a, see the Niners though. Debo I'm too. I'm nervous. It's tough to beat a team uh, three times in one year. Like I said, San Fran's beat them seven straight. McVay's a game planner. It's a. We'll see. I'm excited for Sunday. What up, Casey Faraday? Thanks for tuning in. Jay Lucas, Richard, we might have to make a bet, my man. Message me, hit me up in the DMs, whatever. IG, Twitter, at Ryan's Fingers, at my guys. I'm out. Take us away, fellas. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, to a short episode of That's Debatable. We'll catch you next week. Um, And make sure you stay tuned in to the Squirrel on Air Network. Tomorrow I'll be calling a game of Central Crossing versus Grove City. Uh, got another show on Wednesdays at 7.30. It's going to be on the clock with a couple of other hosts. But just stay tuned. We're on there. We got a lot coming up. Got a, to do a lot with the Battle of the Hawks Nest over the weekend. Once again, for these plaques here, uh, the finest woodwork. by Go to Smith Customs Design and Woodwork. My guy, Alex Smith, look him up. I'll drop the link in the bio or in the chat one more time. But... It says stay tuned and more on score on there. Make sure you share this. Thank you for tuning in. And once again, I'm Will Ward. Find me on Instagram at Will Ward288. And this is Jared's the man with the plan. All right, man. That's debatable. We out. Peace. I'm gonna run a highlight. Oh, let's do the game winners. Gonna pay for that. You gotta call the next right on there to stop it, and that's when everything opens up, like right here. Stops open, he throws it. Here they come, first and ten to the end zone. It's caught. Davis with the touchdown. Buffalo drives down the field in a hurry. 75 yards and only seven plays. This is a great throw. You see right there, they trip each other.